What is up? My name is Garrett at Yogurt on Twitter, Y-O-O-G-R-R-T-T. -T. Thank you so much for tuning into the Now Notation YouTube channel. Welcome back to another album review. Today, we are talking about Bosky 2, the sequel to uh, Bosky, the debut mixtape from none other than Comethazine. And Comethazine is somebody who definitely popped off in 2018, whether it was from the, the help of Lyrical Lemonade's postings of some of his music videos or just from the popping singles that were popping off on uh, his own channel, Bosky. Um, he also had, I believe... Uh, uh, piped up is on the no jumper channel but whether it's from let it eat um walk fucking uh fucking just like all those really really good phenomenal tracks even though the original mixtape bosky was kind of focused in on sh putting those big singles the one that he was gaining traction from into a project into a concise piece of work that people could find um it didn't detract from the fact that there was still a bunch of other stuff that complemented those big hits um and it also gave me a chance as far as um someone who really enjoyed this album to to kind of really listen to those over and over and just really kind of dynamically break down just how good some of them are and uh they still hold up they're still in rotation and uh don't you sleep on bosky one but going into Bosky 2, um, just kind of looking at where I wanted Comethazine to go in 2019, I felt like uh, he had a little bit to prove, but also he's he's someone who sounds a lot like a lot of other people. You get those little pump and uh, smoke perp vibes just with the, the flow, but really the fun with Comethazine and why I think a lot of his like music does stand out overall is because he's funny as fuck with the punchlines. He'll slip random lines in there and you're just like, why the fuck are you saying this in this way and why is it's so damn funny because like he's also saying it with the dialect and the tone uh as if he's dead ass serious and he's he, he's also saying stuff that comes with the serious tone where it's like oh fuck he means this because of the way that he is able to to form his delivery around the words that he's putting on paper um but getting into the track list here um track number one we have on my granny kids um all one word uh, track number two, we have I Be Damned. Track number three is Benjamin Counter. Track number four is Nonsense. Track number five is Hippopotamus. Ha track number six is How Do You Do? Question mark. Track number seven is Four Pound. Track number eight is Gusher Guts. Track number nine is the lead single, the only single, uh, Damar DeRozan. And uh, track number 10 is Wine and Dine. Uh, no features on this tape. Um, again, it kind of just dropped out of nowhere, but as far as 10 tracks coming to you from him off of like a, a little bit longer, uh, tape, which was Bosky one, but again, it was comprised of a lot of stuff from the past that had popped off on the internet. Um, this is a really fun tape. I've listened to it pretty much most of the day from last night on to this point. And, uh, really my standout tracks right now are track number two, uh, I be damned track number three, Benjamin counter as well. The way that those two flow into each other. But also, if you just start from the top and go through like track one through five, I found myself really just letting this play seamlessly. But, uh, I want to also shout out the final track, which is wine and dine and uh, that track's just really fun and a good way to close out the tape. Um, as far as finding depth on this thing and seeing something that you're going to really just be like, oh, fuck, what the fuck, this is this is new, this is this is something that I've never heard from him. I don't really hear that on him, but I, on, on this, sorry, but uh, I do definitely feel like this tape furthers the sound and furthers the comedy and furthers those points where I'm like damn this guy is a fucking funny ass character and definitely somebody who I want to exist in this rap scene um, from here I really don't know if Bosky 3 is the next thing to do why not make it a trilogy I would assume this is somebody who can kind of jump into a booth and just make these tracks like I don't know how much writing is really going into it just because of how his flow and the the dynamic of how he's like presenting himself it, it sounds like he's almost doing it so easily that it that may just be me assuming that he doesn't write much um, and it does come across as freestyles but um, if he has more songs that just kind of fit in this tone why not get a trilogy out there but really looking forward now that we're in the first month and we've already gotten a tape from this guy um, maybe a collaboration with ugly god would be a cool little ep team up um, we just got that rob banks and wi-fi's funeral um, ep and wi-fi just even dropped an ep of himself and an album within the past six months but i really do feel like that was a good for, move for both of them so i don't know if comethazine has like that relationship with that many people i assume he does he does pop off on like the instagram comments i do see him show up a lot um but 
just looking at like where he could go i think a collaboration tape would be a good idea but also by the end of this year i think it is something to look forward to which would be um an album and that is like where i think he does need to really hone in the craft and really kind of not necessarily be a poet all of a sudden or just kind of like get real deep and dark but definitely i think there is a different side to this guy that we could end up seeing rather than just the over the top character but i do enjoy the character a lot sorry about the phone but i do really Really, really really enjoy every single thing about what he does i do really enjoy every single track pretty much on this damn project and i think as far as a follow-up to the sound to the initial project that we got um just to feed the people this is a perfect example of why you need to kind of drop a lot of tapes in this uh this fucking era it seems like there's so much music always coming out that why why can't you drop three projects in in the past six months like wi-fi or why can't you do this i feel i feel like it's almost like you have to and if you don't then you're kind of losing out on the the capitalization of the wave that you're creating and uh uh, I definitely see this guy being on like an XXL cover this year. Um, and it, it's interesting because he's from Missouri. So it's it's not even like he's like from a, a, a well-known scene necessarily. I mean, um, I think I think Oliver Francis is there, but I don't, I don't really see them like having much like, you know, they're, they're, they're very different in sound some, in some cases. They both have really fucking hyper ass fucking production and i think it's a lot of fun and uh just his aggression and like delivery is where you you really see a lot of this come through and just be like oh fuck this is something special and there is something really cool being said um yes i would definitely recommend this album again i be damned benjamin counter wine and dine those are my standout tracks so far um what do you think of this album let me know in the comment section below again thank you so much for all the support on this channel um definitely gonna have that podcast that i was teasing in my uh what's happening with this channel in 2019 video so look out for that and uh yeah just thank you so much follow me on twitter at yogurt y-o-o-g-r-t-t instagram's the same now notation on those platforms as well and uh take care of yourself that is all for